Chipotle Mexican Grill announced it is piloting two new menu items and promotions in select cities nationwide as part of its overall commitment to make the brand more accessible and give fans the food they love when they want it. First up is a dream come true for bacon lovers. Applewood Smoked Bacon begins its journey on the road to a national rollout after receiving a tremendous response from consumers at the Next Kitchen in New York City. In September, Bacon will expand into an eight restaurant operations test in Orange County, California before, beco uh, before being considered for a full market test. Then in October, Nachos will be expanding to full markets tests in Denver and Minneapolis, St. Paul. Chipotle nachos, including homemade corn tortilla chips, topped with an all-new genuine queso, and choice of meat, beans, salsa, and lettuce. Uh, available in restaurants for a limited time only, the promotions are being tested via Chipotle's new stage gate process, which allows the company to test, learn, listen to customer feedback, and iterate extensively before moving ahead with a national launch. For more on this and other news from the center of the plate, please visit foodmarket.com. Now we'll take a look at Erner Berry's HRI Buyer's Guide, a weekly publication dedicated to current commodity prices being paid to wholesalers and purveyors by hotels, restaurants, and institutions. Here's market reporter Russ Barton with the latest movers of the week. We kick off our look at last week's HRI movers with the pork market. As Labor Day approaches, some grilling related items tend to see a pickup in interest and modest price support as a result. Tenderloins are no exception, gaining just a hair over 2% on the week. In the beef market, after the lull in prices, interest in ribeyes has started to pick up seasonally. This pushed prices 4.5% higher. Lastly, the first week of the month saw medium egg prices rise 13.9% as younger flocks sized up in production. Large prices have also increased with, with August seeing increased demand from the retail side as planners set ad schedules ahead of the upcoming back to school season. This has allowed for conditions to rebound off lows experienced during the end of July. Thanks Russ. That concludes our show for today. Thanks for watching and be sure to log into Comtel for a comprehensive look at the latest market and industry news. Today's video is sponsored by Epsano's Market Insight for the Meat Industry, providing information, education, and insight for the beef, pork, and poultry industries. View a sample report at Epsano.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your free sample today.